Lao and Indonesian business people and entrepreneurs meet at the hybrid business meeting for finding potential partners and expanding the opportunity for trading and investment in the Lao PDR. Uh, Vice President of the Embassy Republic of Indonesia hosted the hybrid business meeting Indonesia Laos on the 6th of July in Vinh Chan, the capital of Laos, where the speakers and participants from Indonesia joined virtually at the meeting. The speakers and participants from the Lao PDR follows the meeting on site. Indonesia and Laos have become close partners, especially in trade and investment sectors. In her remarks, Mrs. Rumundang Samartiani, charged their affairs at interim, Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia stated that Indonesia and Laos had become close partners for 66 years, especially in the trade and investment sectors. However, as the development of the Lao PDR is growing in Indonesia's interest in increasing bilateral ties in trade and investment. 2021, due to the impact of COVID-19, she said adding the embassy is mandated to support economic diplomacy in the country by accelerating and boosting the value of trade and investment between the two countries. It also matches the need of the Lao PDR to meet business partners from Indonesia and promote Indonesian products in the Lao PDR. So the topic today uh, will be uh, first I will in the agricultural sector, Mr. Tavisit Bunyasuk stated that Lao PDR opens the opportunity for cooperation. In the agricultural sector with Indonesia, the partnership may begin with a feasibility study, especially on the land for planting cocoa. It is also available to open integrated farming in the Lao PDR with Indonesia for cocoa, cassava, and rice. Lao PDR produces premium rice and Indonesia may invest in farming rice in the Lao PDR. Investors from Indonesia may start a business in the agricultural sector in the Laos in two ways, contracting with the Lao farmers or owning land concessions for farming. Ms. Bu Nik Nin Deputy Director of Business Promotion Division, Department of Enterprise Registration and Management, Ministry of Industry and Commerce of the Lao PDR, said the opportunity to expand the market of Indonesian products in the Lao PDR is also in line with the policy of the government of the Lao PDR. The government of the Lao PDR has recently encouraged local and foreign investors to start businesses in Laos. It is an effort to recover the economy of Laos. And as a critical resource, by establishing trade relations in this sector, we are opening avenues for technology. According to Mr. Alvin Halim, representative of Indonesian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Laos Bilateral Committee, Indonesian Chamber of Commerce and Industry steadfastly supports strengthening the Indonesia-Laos relations by facilitating partnership that bolsters economic growth, innovation, and share prosperity for both sides. Furthermore, trade is the exchange of goods and services, culture, technology, and ideas. Through collaboration, Indonesia, Laos market can flourish and thrive trade both countries. We hold a business forum in which we will introduce our business partner Indonesia to the Lao PDR. Well, uh, Indonesia and Lao has established bilateral relations for 66 years, but until now the trade and investment is still limited compared to other ASEAN countries. That's why we hold this forum in order that uh, Indonesian businessmen could learn how to do business in Laos. And also from the Laos side, uh, we will hear about the pre presentation of Indonesian businessmen. The government of Indonesia through the embassy is committed to increasing bilateral relations between Indonesia and Laos. The potential business investment discussion has become a stepping stone for real cooperation between Indonesia and Laos to promote and market Indonesian products in the Lao PDR. Both form Lao PDR in Indonesia is encouraged to pursue the next step for real cooperation to promote and market Indonesian products in the Lao PDR will be implemented. From the Indonesian side, welcome the businessmen from Laos to send their requests on the products to be promoted in the Lao PDR. <laughs> Bilateral trade between Indonesia and Laos in 2017 to 2021 grew steadily by 27.65%. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic in 2021, 
Trade activities in both countries decreased slightly from 47.4 million US dollar in 2020 to 45.5 million US dollar. The total bilateral trade turnover reached 194.2 million US dollar at the end of 2022, up 326.46% over the same period in 2021. Thank you, thank you very much.